Courtney. Welcome to our live tour of Futural Hall. Um, behind our camera is Channing, if you'd like to meet her. Yeah. Oop. Hi guys, my name is Channing and I'll be behind the camera today. I am a senior communication major and I'm from Springdale, Arkansas. So if you have any questions, just comment throughout the video and we will be sure to answer those. Yes. So I'm actually from the city of Fayetteville, so if you have any questions about the city itself, feel free to ask. Um, before we go inside, I just want to point out what you're close to if you live here. So in this direction is actually the Union, which is super convenient to be close to, and like all of your classes are really close to here too. And then over here, I don't know if you can see, but we have the house in front of it, which is where we work. some bike racks over here too. Yeah. Did you know anybody who rode their bike? Oh, tons of people. Really? Yeah. You see people on bikes all the time. <laughs> and we have those cool new bikes on campus that you can like rent momentarily to yes. ride the class. What's it called? Uh, what VO Ride. Called? It's called VO, VO ride. ride. Those are really neat. I see those all over campus. <laughs> so we actually have this fob system for our security. I will fob you in. <laughs> Thank you. So if you live here, you'll have a fob. Hi, my name is Mitchell Foster and I'm the coordinator for residence education for Futural Hall, um, adjacent to Holcomb Hall. Um, I moved here recently from Northern California, well maybe not recently, a year now, um, after completing my master's at California State, and this is my second year going into um, the CRE position um, for Futural Hall. And I'm here to answer any of your questions, so if you have any questions, please put it in the comments and I'll try my best to answer any of them. I have a question for you. Yeah. What, what is a CRE exactly? So a CRE is someone who supervises the RA, so each hall has RAs who takes care of the residents. Um, other than supervising the RAs who takes care of the residents, I am also a resource for the residents um, living in the halls um, to help with anything that you might need, um, whether it concerns your academic life or your, just your living conditions. Yeah. Awesome. Will you come along with us? Absolutely. Yeah. Nice. I love that. <laughs> So there are mailboxes in here, but they're not in use. So you'll cross the street to Morgan Hall, and that's where you will get packages and mail and everything. And here's recycling. Here. We got several people tuning in. Where's everybody from who's uh, watching us? We have what, seven people kind of watching us? Yeah. yeah. So over here is a nice study space that's always open to be used. We want to show the piano, maybe. Yeah. No, let's do it. We also have Class Plus um, adjacent to the building, um, and a lot of students, after they go, come out of their tutoring um, session, they actually go here, use the whiteboard, and study some more. Yeah. Awesome. We have uh, someone from Springdale? Yes, and also, Amy said that she was a CRE in Futural in 2001 to 2002. Oh, hi, Amy. Yeah, she lives <laughs> in Dallas now. That's so, awesome. yeah, so cool. Thanks for tuning in. Yeah. There's a really big living space over here. That's very cool. You've got a TV and a lot of sitting space. This is good if you want to have like study groups or just get out of your room and hang out. Really nice. 
and then through th those doors, I believe, is where class plus is. Yes. So. Nice, nice. That's really cool. That has a big TV. It, it is a big, big one. TV. Yeah. Is it used? It gets used a lot um, by students. For what? Um, say that again? For what kind of things? Um, they, they watch a lot of their shows. Okay. Like, it gets used around, like, the prime times from, like, 5 to 8. And they watch, like, football games. They watch their HBO shows on here. Um, I recently remember seeing a group of students watch Game of Thrones like towards mm -hmm. the end of the school year when that was on. So yeah. that's what this um, entire area is used for. Are you binging anything these days? Big Little Lies. <laughs> Me too! <laughs> oh my gosh! Um, I know, it's so good. <laughs> and I can't believe that like next week is like, or this coming weekend is going to be the last episode. Already? It's a Sears finale. What? It's, right? I know. Wow. It's real life. No. <laughs> no spoilers, though. Uh, yeah, no, no spoilers. This would be a good place to watch more stuff. Absolutely. Yes. Definitely. Yeah. Awesome. So we're going to actually head downstairs and show you some cool stuff down there. There certainly are a lot of trophies in there, I noticed, too. Yeah. These are from previous years. Um, they used to do a lot of intramural um, events um, with housing that we don't do anymore, unfortunately. Um, these are the trophies that Futural Hall or the intramural team from Futural Hall has won over the years. So it is a very high achieving hall. Um, yeah. It still is. <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. Um, we do have an LLC, um, which is the agriculture LLC that we're going to continue this coming year. So a lot of our agriculture freshman students um, are going to be living um, on the second floor and the third floor. There's some construction happening right yeah. now, it sounds like. Yeah, we do have a construction going on. Um, Futural Hall is getting a facelift, um, so we're getting new windows. Um, so we're currently under renovations. They're going to be um, done very soon, um, but we're going to have noises and people talking in the background. So um, just please bear with us. But um, I hope that we're talking loudly enough for all y'all. Yeah. This is by far my favorite part of Futural. So cool. I love right. this room. It's so bright and so big. You have a pool table, TV, yeah. sitting area. It's really neat. So this is usually where we do our all fall program. So every single month we have um, big programs catered to both the residents of Holcomb and Futural. And this is where we do our big all hall programming in this very area. So really very functional. Um, and even like, even if it's not all hall programming, we have students um, using these tables to study, um, also watching TV here. Um, and these two, um, games are always used by a lot of people. So there's always students playing ping pong and always students playing um, pool. Is, are the ping pong paddles something you would get at the front desk yes. here? So if you ever want to go like rent, you don't pay for it. It's covered in your student fees or your housing fees. But if you go to the front desk, you can get those. It's like ping pong paddles and all. And also things for the kitchen. So we're going into the kitchen right now. If you ever want to make cookies or anything, Where did you live? I lived in Reed, and we also had a cool little kitchen. We made cookies and stuff in there all the time. So nice. it's nice. It's nice to have, just in case you decide you don't want to go to the dining hall for a day or something. It's a good option. And yeah. And just like Courtney said, um, kitchen utensils, if you need pots and pans or baking sheets, we do have those available at the front desk. All you need to do is sign them out using your ID and the hall uh, resident desk assistant will help you give those out to you. Right. Some vending. Yeah, and the vending, I guess the last two years started accepting Apple Pay. Yes. So you can do wireless pay. Very nice to have. I know. How does recycling work in this hall? So this is our recycling receptacles right here. So we have um, spaces for aluminum, newspapers, mixed papers, plastics only. Um, and we also have one for bottles right here. 
Um, and for cardboards, we actually go into this room down here. We have a huge, um, I don't know what you call those big containers where students could just um, throw their um, cardboards in. So. Like bins? Like bins, yes. Okay. Those, those big bins with rolling with wheels. Sure. Cool. So in here is the theater room. This so is awesome. another really cool spot in here. I would definitely use this. So this would be good for movie nights and oh yeah, all that good stuff. There's a lot of good hangout spaces in this residence hall. I know. Yeah. Um, the ambience in there is always so <gasps> movie roomy. <kind> of <laughs> Yeah, I feel like I'm about to sit down for a popcorn and a marathon <laughs> exactly, yeah. of something. Very appropriate. Absolutely. I love that. And so we're heading next to the laundry room. Okay, that's right. Yeah. And mention the courtyard as well. Yeah. That's right. Um, so out here is our courtyard. Um, I mentioned earlier that we're going undergoing renovations, and so we're not going to be able to step out and show you all. Um, but this is definitely accessible to the students and the residents all throughout the year. Um, some of the residents use these tables to study as well as hang out and use both of these trees right here for hammocking. Um, so this is a good space to just um, wind down after a long day um, or hang out with friends. And they could also use the entrance that we're going to pass by in a little bit. I'll point it out to you. Um, a lot of our students use the um, entrance here um, to go into the building if they don't want to use the entrance that we were we went into upstairs or go out of this area to go to their classes. Um, John asked if you know when the renovations will be done. Should be done by the end of July or um, early August. Okay, yeah. cool. And, and the renovations include the windows and do you remember the other details? Just the windows. Just the windows. Yeah, okay. just, just surely the windows. Um, new windows um, that kind of they, they, they have a minimal, what, what am I saying? I mean, when, when the sunlight hits um, or goes in, there's like minimal sunlight exposure um, okay. of the windows, if I'm making sense. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> this is the laundry room. Kind of loud in here. But we have an ice machine and a sink. And then we also have an app called Laundry Alert, which is really, cool and convenient to have because as you can see there's numbers on the wall of the machines and so if you go on the app you can actually check availability and put in which machine you're using and get alerts whenever your laundry is done. So that's really convenient. Yeah. And you don't have great quarters or anything like that. It's right. that um, I was mentioning. So you could go out um, through the courtyard going to either Fulbright Dining Hall, or the bookstore to our left, to our right, or go out to your classes or Pat Walker even. So yeah. really accessible. Yeah. It's a really good spot close to a lot of things. Yeah, I kind of think it is like the perfect compromise between our northern neighborhoods and our central neighborhoods. Yeah. It's right kind of just as you're getting right on the central part of campus. So Kaylee said that she met her husband in Future Hall. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Kaylee, you're gonna have to contact us so we can do a story about you. That's so fun. Sometimes our success stories aren't just academic, they're also romantic. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. We're gonna go look at the bathrooms first. We're on the first floor right now. It's open. Just make sure. Okay. So here's the bathroom. Thanks. Thanks. Over behind you is the stalls. And then this way is the showers. So we have these fancy little rooms outside the shower for you. Yeah. And then here's all the showers on this side. Let's walk into a shower just for yeah. seconds and then get a sense yeah. of it. Got it? You okay? Yeah. 
Here, I'll get that for you. Thank you. There we go. So, some Very shelving. nice, yeah. Super nice. Bring a shower caddy. Yeah, yes. what are the tips and tricks for? Always good to have shower shoes. Shower, shower shoes. Shower shoes. What, what happened? Do they sell like shower shoes, or do you just get really cheap? I always just foot bought flops. cheap foot flops. Okay. <laughs> Old Navy is the perfect spot for that. Oh yeah. So we're gonna go into room 119, which is right here. And this is what the room will look like when you move in. It's all movable furniture. And lots of beds. Everyone gets their own desk and wardrobe. And there's a set of drawers behind you that you can just split in half. So three and three. There's also these cork boards that you can put pictures up and decorate however you want. So if there's any questions for measurements, not yet. Let us know. Yeah. But everything's movable in here. Yes. So all furniture could be set to whatever you like. Yeah, this nice big windowsill. Yeah. Which is awesome. And that is our new installed, newly installed window. Okay. Cool. Cool. And um it's also, nice when they're changing yeah. temperatures here, is it the whole building that changes over at one time? Yeah. Okay. It is the whole building. So then that means on a day where the weather's kind of unseasonable, then you might experience some some discomfort. So it's good to be aware of that on the front end. Yeah. Um, John wants to know how high up do the beds loft? So in here, right now it's not lofted all the way up, but there's like five more notches. Mm -hmm. So if you were, can I see that sure. for just a second? If you were to have this on the top, from top down, it's about. Three feet. So. And there's another piece that goes on top of that too. Yes. Yeah, so you can request to get an add-on, um, like another just set of these, so that you'll have more lofting options. And that way you can put things under your bed, like storage. Do that. This would mm -hmm. be more. I know I lofted my bed when I lived in Reed, so that I could put drawers under there and just have extra space. It's always nice. Some people put their like mini fridge under their bed, just get it out of the way. Can you turn on the locking mechanism? Oh yes, yeah. so if you do choose to bring your own lock, you would just put it right there and then it locks the door for you. So that's always a good option to have. Do we have a cable box in here maybe? Yes. yes, cable box is right here. And we do have HDMI cables. Um, so if you have a TV with HDMI connections, we have HDMI connectors for cables, and our cables include HBO. Sweet. And the remote. Yeah, and every room comes with one. Yeah. Why don't we measure the uh, mattresses just to okay. confirm what's on the website? So, do you think we need a hand up again? Yeah. Would you mind helping her about putting your hand in front of the yeah. laser beam? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> right here at the end. Right. So it knows. Okay. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Oh, it's going to be down here. Okay. <laughs> what year again? 1972 through oh. 74. Maybe it'll be a time capsule for you. Yeah. 114. Here's 114. This is, this is it. And this is a really good example, actually, of what you yeah. can do with your bed if you choose Perfect. to it. So much extra space. Up. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I'm sure you had a lot of good memories in here. <laughs> yeah. No, that's awesome. Yeah. I'm glad you're watching. That's really cool. Yeah. I think we're going to share one other example of a room. Okay. Um, now we've checked out his room from back in the day. Awesome. Yeah, so um, we had a question earlier mm -hmm. um, how high was the block of the bed? So this room is actually an example of um, the highest height that you could loft your bed. Um, you could loft it this high up um, and actually put your desk underneath it just like this configuration. Wow. wonder, could we get a measurement of that? Oh, I think I from this point, I guess? Yeah, from there down. Uh -huh. Yeah, of course. So, that's five feet of space. Yeah. That's really cool. Yes. Really nice. I like this. I've never seen it like this before. Yeah. It's a good it option. It gives you your little cave. Yeah. You just want to separate yourself and isolate yourself from anything else as you study. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> which can be an effective study tool, Absolutely. right? Absolutely. Absolutely. Speaking of which, um, y'all are both upperclassmen. Mm -hmm. Do you have any yeah. um, tips on studying or how to be successful here at the Ooh. University of Arkansas? It's just different. Mm -hmm. It's different. It's different in high school, but you get the hang of it. Just figure out what works best for you. Everybody's different. There's a ton of resources on campus if you need them. So mm -hmm. the faster you figure out your way, the better. Yeah. I also highly recommend getting a planner or oh, using yeah. an online tool um, to keep track of all your assignments. That helped me a lot. Definitely. I had to start doing that. Yes. Do you have methodologies you use for your planning? Do you um, just bullet lists or bullet Yeah, I'm a, or? I'm a big list person. I okay. love crossing off things on a list. Yeah. It's so satisfying. Yeah. So. That's true. Never, never realized that until college, but yeah, <laughs> definitely. Dana said thank you so much for showing their old room. Yeah, that's awesome. That's really cool. Yeah, I'm glad pleasure. we got to do that. Yeah. Any more questions? Not right now. We're good. That's it, Mitchell, you have any uh, thoughts as, you, as the new community of Futural yeah. comes together? And, and I'm actually arrives. thinking if there's other spots that we could show you, but I think we covered everything. We showed you the theater room, we showed you the basement, we showed you the kitchen, um, we showed you the courtyard, um, the front entrance where the desk is, um, and basically this entire floor looks the same as um, the rest of the floors up. Um, but this upcoming year, Futural and Holcomb um, function as one community. So our theme for this upcoming year is actually two halls, one community. Um, there's a lot of things in store. I'm not yet allowed to talk about them as early as now, um, but really get excited um, for this year's theme because we really have a lot of things um, planned for being one community between Holcomb and Futural. And I'd also be joining you next week for the live tour in Holcomb, and I'll show you as well that part of the community. So if you're a Futural resident, don't feel like you are confined to Futural, because you can always go to Holcomb um, for the different um, programs that we're gonna have in Holcomb as well. Awesome. Cool. Yeah. Well, sign us off. Yeah, thank you guys for watching. Um, there's a schedule online for the other lives if you wanna tune into any of those, but it's been fun.